Yo, I'm back. The real is back, the villa is back, here's a banana peeler back. I just finished my semester where I took four big CS courses, so I'll share with you guys some of the stuff I learned and if I recommend them. But before that, 60% of you guys are not subscribed. If you want to pass your final exams, you better subscribe, you know what I mean? Oh, and by the way, this video is sponsored by Grammarly. The first class, artificial intelligence. If you're in tech or even if you're not, I recommend taking an AI course. It's essentially applied statistics. And even if you don't directly work with machine learning, you'd be surprised of the other fields it can relate to. As a content creator, I became more conscious of how my videos were recommended after I learned about recommendation systems in my other AI class. Now, do I still remember all the math involved and how to regularize latent factor models through matrix multiplication? Hell not, nah, man, what the hell? Let's be honest, I forgot all that shit the day after the final. But it's still very useful, for example, a lot of people complain about the Twitch recommender system and compare it to YouTube. Now, I truly love Twitch, but the truth is their recommender is trash. But, 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 but at the same time, I don't think it's a fair comparison because it is harder to recommend live streams compared to simple videos because the features are not only different, but probably harder to evaluate as well. So I'll do you a favor right now and take this second to recommend you to follow twitch.tv slash live. That's me. But yeah, all in all, I learned these subjects in this AI class and I'm glad I took it. Web development. If you're in CS, definitely look out for any web development electives you might have because these courses will actually teach you what you use on the job, which is rare for a university course. For my class, I had to make a full stack web application where you can create polls and vote for them. I live streamed coding this website for over 10 hours on the deadline date. And if you were there, you know I couldn't finish in time, but I fixed it a bit more after the deadline. So it still worked during the presentation and I did get a hundred percent. Just don't tell my professor. <laughs> Is this gonna work? Oh my god! I did the authentication. Okay, let's try with a wrong password. Okay, I'm writing some random shit. Wait! <laughs> Why is the random password working? <laughs> oh god, no. So the focus of this course was actually enterprise design patterns. You can always code however you want, but as your code base grows in size, it becomes much harder to maintain if it's not designed properly. Basically, I learned how to design and implement a complete application, front end, back end database, while using multiple of these design patterns. Speaking of database, this class was really unpleasant at the beginning. I could not figure out how to design an ER diagram for my life. Whenever I opened my assignment and I saw the humongous blocks of text, I just wanted to terminate my own process. ER diagrams are basically the design of how you store your data. So for example, you may have one place where you store all the user information and another table where you store books you've read which is probably empty for you because let's be honest, you don't read books and neither do I. Because of that, we suck at writing. And that's why we all need Grammarly. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant. Currently, it's the end of the semester and I know you've been procrastinating, so you don't want to lose more points on your last minute assignments for making typos. That's why you should use Grammarly, which is an all-in-one writing tool that improves your productivity and saves you from losing easy marks. It's free to download and can easily integrate into where you work, such as Google Docs. There's even a setting goal feature to optimize your message for a given audience. You can also use the overall score feature on the editor to analyze your writing and prepare for presentations. Finally, there's also a built-in synonym feature Feature, so you don't have to always search on other websites. Oh my god. Personally, I always tend to type really fast when taking notes and it just ends up in a bunch of typos. Grammarly helps me fix them such that when I review my notes later on, I can actually read them. With finals and holidays approaching, make sure to not lose out on those easy marks with tools like Grammarly. It's free, why not? Go to grammarly.com slash fryingpan to sign up for a free account. And if you'd like extra features, you can upgrade to Grammarly Premium for 20% off to help you save time and work more efficiently. What are you waiting for? Go now. Well, actually, wait for the end of the video and, and then go after. <laughs> So back to my database class, I'd say it's a pretty useful course because you learn SQL, which is often the language used to manipulate data, whether you're a data scientist or a software engineer. Operating systems. Remember in my second video where I mentioned not knowing what a deadlock is during a job interview? Well, this is the course where you learn that stuff and every CS major has to take it. The core of this class is to learn about threads and the conflicts surrounding them, such as deadlocks. Every program on your computer is ran by at least one thread, usually multiple. I won't go into the technicals of deadlocks, but it's essentially when one part of your computer needs another part to function, but that other part needs this previous one. So they just end up 
waiting forever in a cycle. So there you go. I hope that helped somehow. This was a pretty heavy semester for me since I was also doing job search at the time. So my grades definitely took a hit as you saw in my last video. Let me know in the comments though what you're going to do this winter. I'll be watching some Jojo and I'll try to make some more videos as well as stream more on Twitch. So Merry Christmas, Joyeux Noël, Feliz Navidad, Shonan Kwaila, Sinyan Kwaila, Happy New Year. Uh, my Christmas tree. It's... I don't know why it's so small. It's it's supposed to be five or six feet tall. I think I got scammed, but yeah, just uh, follow me on Twitter and peace out, Pikachu. What am I saying?